yeah i'm not saying don't take risks i'm just saying be careful what you get yourself into and stay calm when you need to get yourself out of something but anyways yeah that was enough ocean for the for this trip i'm good i only swam in it because it was clear y'all but i don't even like going out deep like i just be had my brain will self-sabotage so bad i'll go out a little bit and my feet won't be touching it no more and my brain's like but what if you what if you brain shut the fuck up what if i don't i love you but damn <laughs> what if i don't what if i end up perfectly okay anyways let me not run my mouth i'm gonna go make myself some tea and then i'm going to hop on cam and then check out gotta sit for a few hours until i can check into my private room and i gotta go pay for the private room and then i will do my thing in there my friend asked me to go out or do something for dinner for our last night it really is everybody's last night i'm sad damn i'm happy sad y'all Yes, I wanted to go out for dinner or something, and I was like, I'm sorry, I gotta work. Valentine's Day is a big holiday for what my line of work and stuff. But, like, I'm sad. <laughs> despite any of the drama, despite anything, even the girl who left yesterday that I thought I was having, not issues with, but just having some weird moments with. When we said goodbye, everything was good, good vibes. She got a good video of me as well at the beach that's already, like, upwards 3K on IG. And you know, so at the end of the day, we're all only human. And I realize I'm really trying to lean into the positives of things. It's so easy to fixate on the negative. I'm very guilty of it as well, very guilty. And for me, I'm very sensitive to energy and emotion, but I'm trying to get to a point where I could just look at things from a very neutral standpoint. So, but I'm happy, sad, okay, all right. Happy to be going home and getting a new adventure and fresh start and all that good stuff, but sad to be leaving. But I also know if I stay longer, it's just not going to hit. Like, because in the middle of the trip, I was like, okay, I'm ready to go home. Because <laughs> sometimes you don't want to stay too long in a place either. Otherwise, you kind of take away from the experiences of it because you've been there for so long that you don't appreciate it the same. Sometimes, not for everybody. But anyways, let me stop yapping my mouth. I'll talk to you. I'm going to go and make breakfast. And I already packed up and cleaned and everything early, which is great. I don't know why. The mental block between packing <laughs> is so strong. But the procrastination that comes with that is insane. It took me a minute. I was like, pack, pack. And even then, I'm just packing to go to another room. All I had to do was throw myself in the bags. But anyways, I'll talk to you. Also, I forgot to tell y'all yesterday, I had this beautiful moment when I was staring at the ocean, not being in it. And I realized that like, if you turn your perspective to the side, like how you stare at the ocean flat like this, if you turn it to the side and you imagine us really being on the side of a planet floating in space, what? And when you're staring at the sky, that's space? What? What? Like, what? <laughs> that's, that's so surreal to me. Like when you're staring at the ocean, you're really staring at the side of Earth spinning floating rotating whatever in the middle of space we are the motherfucking aliens what anyways i'll talk to y'all oh baby oh baby she all packed up and ready to go oh baby will you believe me if i said this is where i lived for a month yes sir and this is where other people also lived <laughs> for whatever period of time <laughs> There's my cubby, that is me, okay? Y'all, I'm checking out, got everything nice. All right, I always vlog or video my place to stay when I enter and when I leave, cause y'all not gonna charge me with nothing. I highly doubt I have any issues here, but I always vlog it just to show what I got and what I'm leaving it as, just to protect yourself, but yeah. So basically I'm gonna wait three hours until my private room is ready and then I'm gonna still be here. I am so happy so happy i did not go book a different hotel i do not feel like getting in a taxi right now and going to a whole other location and then spending the night there like i just went ahead and booked the private room here because i got both so yeah what did i tell y'all she's the motherfucking receipt queen she's the receipt queen so remember that day i went to get a taxi i spent 40 dollars almost 45 dollars getting a taxi y'all you remember that day and he tried to charge me when i got out the taxi which was wrong and then he charged me again when i got back to the hostel tell me why I just, i'm so happy i have my physical receipts y'all i don't even be taking receipts like that i just i, I say yes 
and I feel like I'm never gonna need them and I actually needed it so tell me why I was checking out right and they're like yeah you have an outstanding charge for a $20 fee to come back from when you got groceries or whatever and I was like no I don't but I'm gonna be respectful and we gonna figure this out because <sighs> I remember it was a whole thing I was standing at the taxi I was like it's and then they're like he overcharged you too yeah I know I know I know, I know, I know. And I was like, do you want to argue for dollars? No, don't argue for dollars, baby. So tell me what I was trying to check out. They're like, you have an outstanding charge. And I accidentally threw one of my receipts away. I was so scared that was the receipt because then it wasn't on my bank. So I was scared, you know, something's going on. So anyways, he called the hospital and basically said, I did not pay, I did not pay the taxi people 